welcome to the Derby Debrief from Rams TV. I'm in Bradley with Bradley Johnson and Sean Barker alongside, reflecting on Derby's victory tonight in the EFL Trophy. They're beating Wolves Academy by four goals to one. It sees Derby through to the knockout rounds as group winners. It means they'll have a home tie in, I think, the first week of December. That game will be played here at Pride Park Stadium. A hat-trick for James Collins tonight. Uh, lots of changes as well as the second half went on with one of the youngsters, Tony Weston, getting his first senior goal for the Rams as well. You'll hear from him and Matt Hamshaw shortly. We'll bring in the guys first to get uh, their views on things. Uh, Johnny, you play with uh, a lot of the guys. You must be really pleased for all of them tonight. Yeah, I'm so over the moon for all of them. Um, it was great to see uh, most of them get on the pitch and finish the game. And I think all of them have done themselves very proud tonight. You know, they put their attitude they put in tonight, their application, closing down, everything the manager would have wanted, they all went out there and done it. So, yeah, I'm happy for all of them. It might be unfair to sort of pick any of them out, but but we will, Sean, because, I mean, Adebayo Fapitu in, in particular, I mean, he was confident and, and he really impressed, I thought, middle of the park. Yeah, I thought in the first 45 minutes especially, <coughs> he had a desire to compete. Um, he landed on second balls and we also saw him with that little bit of quality, obviously nearly scored from the halfway line, had a little, a few moments in possession as well. So um, he, he was a standout. But every single player, even the players that came on the pitch when... Sometimes the game can go away from you and, and, and you lose that flow of a game because of so many changes. They still did everything right. They showed confidence, belief, composure. And what I liked about it was, was the little bit of bite they had. They had so much more bite than the 21s with, with Wolves. And with development football, I said beforehand, sometimes the 21s can be a bit like that. And, and you've got to learn quickly how to compete. And I thought well, all our boys did that really, really well. And then they got the ball down and did some wonderful stuff in possession as well. Uh, we'll get some more thoughts from the guys uh, shortly. Or we'll hear from the goal scorer later. But first, let's get some thoughts from first team coach Matt Hampshire. Uh Yeah, pleased. Yeah, obviously, um, I think uh, went team come out a few people that have been. Uh, well, there's not many senior players on there, but a uh, real good opportunity for younger players. Uh, really impressed us. Some players who probably haven't had minutes that um, they need in, in league campaign, but um, a, a really pleasing night. Really, certainly second half when. We put a lot of academy graduates on. Um, just nice to see them running around out there and uh, enjoying themselves. Nice to see strikers scoring goals, and James Collins did that tonight. Yeah, took his goals really well. Um, we were a bit frustrated first half. Thought we could have put a few more balls in box. We thought we were a little bit negative with his pass selection, but when we did get forward, we we looked a bit of a threat, and then. I think his third goal was really excellently taken. I mean, his header weren't bad either, but um, his third goal really impressed us. We've been doing quite a lot of work on that, so uh, it was nice to see that one going. And a very tidy finish from Tony Weston. Yeah, done well. Um, and uh, I think I thought they all did well, but uh, he's got loads of energy. He runs around. He wants to get into the box, and he took his goal really well. So. Yeah, he, he obviously enjoyed it. Celebration were excellent, I thought, his little jump. Um, but no, a really nice moment for him and his family. And I'm sure he had a lot of people watching. So uh, a really good goal and I'm really pleased for him. How long had it been the plan to get you know as many youngsters involved in tonight's game as possible? After Saturday, that's Sunday, sorry. So uh, yeah, we we'd, we'd kind of knew what were coming up this week in terms of Barnes are coming up Saturday. So uh, we'd kind of planned it last week. Um, which it, it, it's difficult, but you want to be in all competitions and it's competition you want to do well in. We've had a, two first good games in this competition and obviously tonight we're important that we got that win. Um means we're now getting home tie, which is obviously what we want. You don't want to be travelling anymore. So, uh, yeah, uh, look, a really pleasing night, really pleased for Academy. Um, good that Collor got his goals, but I think tonight really probably belongs to Academy in terms of how many lads have, have got out there and done really well. Yeah, and it's a night to mention, isn't it? Everyone at the academy and the work that everyone puts in with these players. Yeah, I think a lot of people don't see some hard work that goes on. And look, it, uh, I'm not talking out of turn when I when I said they've had a difficult time. Um, clubs lost a lot of players, certainly coming through. We who would now probably be in first team, um, but the fact that we've turned it round is probably quicker than we anticipated, and that's down to hard work that all them people in the academy do. So since Matt's come in and Flem and Bucko, Briggsy, you know, list endless, but you, you, they, they work the, the, the tripe off every day to improve them. And, you know, we, we probably didn't expect to see, uh, I don't want to talk too out of term, but to see this turn around as quickly as it possibly has. So 
the fact that we as uh, speaks volumes of them as staff and long may it continue. We want we want to give young players an opportunity. We we have done all our careers. We were all young at some point and somebody gives opportunity and like you said, to see them running round and see Tony and and Lennon and Dej, who obviously started, and um, yeah, just really pleasing. And focus now turns to them for Youth Cup, which is a big game Friday again. But uh, loads of games. But that's what you want as a player. You want to keep playing. Well done tonight. Cheers. Thank you very much. Uh, Matt Hamshaw there talking about the academy. Obviously, very proud night for everyone there. And we've talked about the youngsters and not really talked yet, maybe as much as we should have done about James Collins, who got the hat trick tonight. And great to see a striker scoring goals. You know, that's what he, he's there to do, score goals. But he would have been frustrated of late, not getting as much game time. And tonight was an opportunity for him to you know, state his claims to be in the first team, uh, starting lineup. And he's going to go away tonight with, with three goals and, you know, knocking on the manager's door on why he's not playing in the, in the next game. So he done well tonight. And, yeah, we ain't spoke about him a lot because, you know, it's a night for the youngsters. But, you know, Collar will be delighted with the, the match ball tonight. It, it looked as though the celebration for each started to get a little bit more exuberant each time, building up to the hat trick goal. It did. Um, the closer you get as a striker, someone like him who's, who's had a career scoring goals, and you can see he loves it every single time he scores, he, he celebrates um, as if it's his first. So it's great to see. And, and it was a difficult call. Obviously, I gave him man of the match because he got his three goals and did everything right. The three finishes were brilliant but Wilson was was outstanding as well I thought he was probably the best player on the pitch at times in that second half he was unplayable um, these games have been so important over the last month or two for certain players to get key t time on the pitch to have a little bit more of, of uh, opportunity to show what the manager can do to get up to speed to come back from injuries and when you've got a good sized squad these um, competitions are perfect and we've got a big squad and we need players to be fit and the likes of Wilson, Elder, Collo will be pushing for a start and they will be asking the manager a lot. I'm doing it in these games, I want to start the next game and, and there's three or four really, really good performances. Wilson put in a terrific ball for, for Collins second didn't he? and he took the third fantastically well too I thought. Collo, yeah. yeah. No, um, said there, I, I agree with Barks. Um, I thought Kane was terrific tonight. Some of the balls he put in tonight was a striker's dream and Collo will be thankful for him tonight for helping him get the hat trick. But he was a nuisance all night down our right-hand side. And, um, you know, towards the end, he ran out of steam. You know, he was run up and down that line all game. But, yeah, he was, he was a real bright light for us tonight. And, and so were some of the youngsters as well. And what about Tony Weston, who, who combines w with James Collins for his third and then scores a very impressive goal of, of his own? Is, is that what you've been seeing from him this season in, in the 21s? Yeah, I'm delighted for uh, Tony to come on. He's a nuisance as well. Um, you know, playing with him in training, he don't give you half a second on the ball. And he done that tonight, and I think the gaffer will be pleased with the way he pressed um, their back four. And, you know, he deservedly got his goal. Um, and uh, Toe poked it home to get his goal, and I'm delighted for him. You know, he, he's took his chance and, you know, we said there now, it's, it's just about taking these chances when they get given them and he's done that tonight. It must be difficult for, is it more difficult for, a, for an attacking player to sort of make an impact coming through the way that maybe Tony Weston has tonight? Um, <clears throat> I think it's part of your, your learning um, and development as, as a young player, uh, as an attacker, striker, a player that can create something, you're more used to coming off the bench in the, in the younger um, ages because you get a little taste, you might have 10 minutes here or there. Obviously, defenders normally start the game <coughs> and don't you know, c come on the pitch uh, for until maybe the last five or 10 minutes to just shore up shot. But I thought it was outstanding, Western. I thought he came on and was bright, pressed well, had little moments in tight areas. He obviously was the assist for Collo. He would play the ball into Collo and finished beautifully himself. So... Little moments for, for young players are about impressing the manager, impressing the staff. It's OK doing it in training, it's OK doing it in 21s and 18s, but it's when you get into a first-team environment and every single player showed what they're capable of and dealt with the occasion really well. Uh, let's get some more reaction from the Derby camp. Then we can hear from goal scorer, uh, first for the Rams, Tony Weston. Yeah, as I said before, I'm, I'm over the moon to, to come on and get, just get the opportunity to go and play in front of the fans for 45 minutes and... You know, it's a bonus just to get the goal and assist. You took the goal ever so well. Yeah, it was just a, a natural instinct finish for myself, to be fair. You know, it's something that we work on all the time in training. I like to almost like poachers' goals, just a little tapping. Well, not a tapping, but a little toe poke at the goalie. So, yeah, so I'm happy with that. When did you find out that you were going to be involved tonight? Um, 
yesterday to be fair yeah so we played on sat sunday come in for recovery you know and then yesterday morning i told i was training with the first team but obviously i just went around and trained done, done what i do every day worked hard and then got the team uh, the team sheet or whatever yesterday got all those in the squad obviously there were a few of you was there a bit of a, a buzz around that training session with the younger guys yeah to be fair i made up for everyone i think everyone that took part in the game and even the lads on the bench thoroughly deserved it you know they've, they've obviously been doing something right to impress the manager to you know, in a stress to get put on the bench. New to the club this summer, have you settled in? Yeah, I've settled in fine, to be fair. I feel as though since moving my family up, you know, I've um, settled in a lot more and feel a lot more at home in Derby. Yeah, it's been a, a, b- a big change coming down from Rangers for you. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, obviously, the little one coming in as well. It, you know, it was a bit stressful trying to find, you know, a new place for us all to stay and stuff. But I think now that I've got that sorted, um, you know, I can just focus on football. And are you hoping you can use this to kick on and, and maybe make a few more first team appearances? That's up to the you know the manager to see whatever like this choice. But you know I'll just keep working hard and keep my feet on the ground and just keep trying to do my best every day. All the tonight. Thank you. Attorney Weston there. This is how the uh, table looks, the final table in Northern Group G. Derby top three wins out of three. Uh, very healthy goal difference as well. Lincoln join them in the knockout rounds. Derby will have a home tie uh, played first week of December. Uh, just before we go, uh, that Tony Weston goal has prompted quite a debate in the studio. Um, how, how are we describing the finish, gentlemen? Barks first. Wonderful. Oh, oh! You mean <laughs> it's a toe the pong? Particular, the toe pong. Toe pong is what I call it. I don't think anyone else knows it as toe pong, but there is a confusion that. And Jono, you're saying. I say toe punt, toe but I know I've called it toe poke because of rowing in the Toe poke studio. is how I know it. Toe punt. So if you've got any other suggestions, send them in, and we'll discuss it next time on Rams TV. Thanks to Parks, Jono, uh, for joining us. More reaction on the website if you want at dcfc.co.uk from me and the team. Bye bye for now. <laughs>